Greetings everyone and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi 4 we're playing as Democratic Bulgaria, but really the United Balkan Federation, which we also parts of Czechoslovakia and Italy. This isn't where we left off, but we've pushed through a little bit of France, trying to push in through Iberia, and we are suffering quite a few casualties against the Soviets. So, uh, casualties, not too bad actually for us, we've suffered quite a few, and they've suffered quite a bit, so... Yeah, I've just been sitting here, kind of defending, pushing as hard as I could through Iberia, in which they're doing okay. So, and actually, our ships are doing kind of okay. We are absolutely out of fuel, which really, really not ideal. Really, really, really. Uh, let's see. We're trying to build some more refineries, build more forts. They are attacking like a bunch of crazy people. Uh, also, also, ooh, oil processing. Oh, we can very nice. Let's see, Romania. They're still communists, and we have a communist threat here in our own states. 27 of 64 divisions. They got a little bit of manpower left. Yeah, yeah. Still gonna kill them off. But really, my goal right now is to get as much fuel as possible. Holy cow. Once we get enough fuel, we can probably do okay. Could get more rubber. We're doing okay. We're, we're making some nukes, but that's gonna take forever to do. Get some more ground support. That'd be okay. Also, I think the Soviet Union is fighting. So, are they fighting the Americans? Because Australia is fighting the Japanese. The Japanese declared war on the Australians. So, they're fighting the Americans too. <sighs> yep, and America's been called in. And let's see, this is the faction map mode. So we've got, of course, the Raj down here. Uh, we have ourselves, of course, the common turn. But we, of course, we have the Southwest Pacific Initiative, which America is a part of. And Canada's just kind of hanging out. Oh, hopefully America goes to war with the Soviet Union. Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? So last evening, Hristo Lukov, leader of the Union of Bulgarian National Legions, was ambushed by two partisans who reportedly followed him from the Royal Cinema to the home at 1 Artillery Street. As a political leader who was about to enter his home, one of the colonels shot him from a close range and hit him on the shoulder. Then Lukov grabbed the man and pressed him against the wall before attempting to retreat into a building, but a second assassin, unnoticed by the victim, and who, according to witnesses, was a woman, shot him in the back, then picked up her accomplice and fled through his neighboring yard, leaving a mortally wounded Hristo Lukov at the entrance of his house. Tragic. Uh... Does that have any effect on this? Our guy didn't die. Hopefully, it doesn't matter too much. And China declared war on the Comintern. Or no, not the Comintern. The Asian League? No. Oh! China went to war with these guys. Okay, so it looks like Hirohito might have finally won the war in May of 1946. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, look at this. Yes, we will gladly invite you in. Yes, League of Balkan Confederacies. Absolutely join in. Now, just back. Now we good. Beautiful. Now we have the Chinese on our side, and they can help us take out the common turn too. That'll be a massive front. Now we have, we can be united with India as well. Um, why are you not with them? Hey, there goes the Socialist Republic of, a uh, Socialist Iberian Republic. Uh, let's see. Can we do anything here with these guys? Request garrison port. Ask for control of forces. Expedition start. Request land lease. Do you have any fuel? Yes. Hey, we got two days worth of fuel. Uh, can we get any more? Oh, look at that. Ooh, what the heck? Why do we own this? Um, okay. The Netherlands took most of it. The French took a little bit. But hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Absolutely not going to complain. Uh, you guys can come over here and I'm going to throw you back on the line, which would be a great thing. Now, oh my god, look how many attacks they're trying to do up there. Nice. Uh, good. Just whittle down their health. And by health, I mean soldiers. Go ahead and set up some things like this. John has been called in. That's good. Now we're actually probably going to do okay here. And that means we can finally get our ships back into the Mediterranean. Alright then. Ooh, not bad. Take one of you. Three right there. Take one of you. Three right there. Two. I don't really care. There you go. Three more. There you go. If that's the case. I'm going to have... Ooh, what do we want? What do we want? Subs. Boom, boom, boom. That's what the subs are going to do. There and there. While these ships go here, here, here. We're really going to start wrapping up our war efforts now in different areas. Going to cost us a little bit more, but whatever. We've got more divisions? Oh, nice. Uh, ooh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. You know what? Just in case, because we need to keep at least a little bit of manpower. Just at least half of them. And there you go. Yeah, that's not bueno. Get, cut it down, cut it down. 
There we go. Save some of that manpower because we absolutely got to have it. Nice. Nice. Wowzers. Yeah, look how badly they're, like, doing. Uh, those divisions are okay. They don't look great, but you know what? I'm not the Soviets. At least we killed at least one nation off. Actually, technically two. Oh, yeah, we didn't really kill the Japanese. Oh, we've killed over four million Soviets so far. Come on, Soviets. Come on. The remains have stopped attacking as well. Hope these guys get to move over here pretty quickly. That'd be important. You guys, I'm just going to have you guys try to invade the islands in the Mediterranean. Because we don't want any sort of influence down here. Mallorca. Barcelona. I will risk these guys over there. They should be able to take it out, right? They should be able to. Good, good, good. Some more fuel would be nice. But we're running out of spots to build in. I guess if we have to, we could build right there. And southern Slovakia, but the roads are just so damaged. Two destroyers, nice. We lost the plane, so be it. Uh, sure, Philippines. Oh, yeah, the American divisions are kind of over here, too. Nice. Not bad, not bad. American divisions are over here, and they have probably access to those guys, which is fine. We don't really care. Ooh. Don't mind if we do have another carrier. I like that quite a bit. And another sub, which is fine. Good. Just wish we had more fuel. I doubt we could do like a full frontal attack. Yeah. And it's pretty laggy as we're waiting for these guys to get over there. Actually, you know what? I don't I don't want to risk that. You two you're too precious. Too precious. For us to sacrifice you over there. That's what we want to do. Look at those guys, they gotta die. Convoy sailing's nice, good. Let's get this one. Even more better sub detection. How much do we get a one point one a day? That's not bad. Still gotta put down the fatherland front as well. Massive arrests. Root out fatherland front sympathizers. The less communism support, because we gotta deal with the final blow eventually. That's one percent support. So even if we don't do anything right now, they're still going up, actually. That's not cool. That's so dumb. So dumb. I also did another focus, defying Moscow, so we got even more defense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's actually lowering our stup- Are you kidding me? What a bunch of garbage. So stupid. Why do we have to deal with this? Seriously. At this point, this shouldn't even happen. Why? Just because a communist wanted to put influence in our country? We already destroyed any influence that other parties had. This doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I've got a lot of rebels here. A lot of resistance stuff. Uh, more defense. Oh my god, USC forever. Military police 3, that'd be kind of good for suppression stuff. And go for the next one, because we can. Nice. Currently we get how much fuel? 4.9 thousand a day. 4.9 thousand, that's not bad. We just don't have enough. And the air is just taking it up. The army's not very, taking very much at all. Neither is the navy. It's just all the air. Hmm. Just waiting to get a few more guys here. Come, come. Oh my god. Why are you moving so slowly? Just go! Go, go, go! More divisions are nice, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we gotta save some of that manpower. There we go. Let's see. I like this guy. He's pretty good. Democracy support. Dem I don't understand. So we got 0.05, so it's 0.1. 0.2 every day, which is good. This should be decreasing actually a lot more, but that's just me. That's just me. Cool, and the direct ground support, let's grab that one immediately. Ooh, I usually do this one, formation flying is pretty good to do. Ooh, motorized actually, that's not bad. Because we are using some light tanks, even though I have not researched light tanks at all. <laughs> using them, but I haven't researched them. Let's see, I think we're done with the focus tree? Yeah, it looks like we don't have very much else here. Yeah, we're done. We're finally done with the focus tree. Because we can't do this because we need to own a deer name. So, 
And his temple. Don't forget his temple. Down it's of uh, on the Bulgaria and the three seas. Oh, that's gonna cool. More naval dockyards, coastal forts, but we're kind of stuck with what we have right now. Air production, naval production, uh, refinery bases. Is that actually, naval and fort casualties. So that does not help you build refineries. Wow, why not? Seriously, why not? Suppress objects. Who? We could probably. That might be good to do actually, just because. We probably have a lot of subjects around here that don't really... But we've lowered, we've raised their autonomy quite a bit. Good. Any more ships? Yeah, we do. Wow. Another carrier. God dang. Two more subs. We're making quite a few subs now, aren't we? Yeah. Let's get rid of one of these subs. Put another cruiser in there. That'd be good. Who's attacking? Oh, some Dutch folks are. Okay. Cool. Now, since you most of you are here already, so we can do this. Do that. Do that. Do this. And do that. Good luck. We're going to need it. How are the Germans doing? Because they look pretty good. The passive defense is nice. Ooh, anti-partisan? Eh, yeah, we maybe could do some anti-partisan stuff, maybe. But, honestly, it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, resistance is, like... Not really a problem at all. Yeah, that's 14%. Yeah, might as well not. Because we can, right? Really lower that resistance. Really try to desperately make a nuclear reactor. Why is it going up 5%, but we have zero reactors? Not sure if I really understand that, but that's okay. I guess we could try a frontal attack, but that seems pretty dangerous. I mean, resource-wise, we're doing great. Like, we can always make more equipment, not resources, you know what I mean. Cool. Even more oil processing. Fuel gain from refiners is not enough. We can only get 5,900. It was 4,900, but now it's 5,900, so we can do slightly more stuff with our fuel. And in 30 days, we'll help fuel refining one, which will help us with fuel gain per oil and fuel gain from refineries even more, but obviously it's not going to be enough. Oh, man. One, two, three... At this point, it seems like they're kind of done attacking me, so... Oh, fish, fish, you guys up. Oh, boy. The Turks still like attacking, though. Oh, look at those guys. Holy crap. Oh, that's a big tank. Okay, bye-bye, tanky. Uh, Marcos, anything here? You're going to have to attack eventually, so we're going to just get that, because you seem to be holding very well right now. Any other upgrades? There's really not that many upgrades that our guys have gotten. Five, six, six, five, two, six, so it's okay. Oh boy, who can't give me my goods? I gotta have my fuel, man. Steel. It's fine if you can't make all those subs, that's fine, or ships, or whatever. They really are fighting the Soviets, so that's good. They're looking a little better. Japan, why are you purple? So many questions in this episode. Are we ready to try it? I don't. I really don't think we'd be able to do a good general attack, but you know we could try it. Right, maybe we can try it right here. That seems like a pretty good place that we could do it. That's yeah, looking good so far. If maybe I can shorten the line up here. You know what? We'll try that. I want to concentrate my forces a little bit more. Just so that, because they're they're defending pretty well over here. They probably don't need us, right? So, if we concentrate our forces a little bit more, we might do very well. How are you guys doing? Oh, you have no fuel. Why am I sending you with no fuel? Force the attack. Oh, the French landed. Good job, France. Any partisan stuff? You need to do that some more. Why not? Good. They can't move anywhere since France did take that tile. They ha can't move, so they can't get any more strength. They can't even get any more organization, which is good. I just hope those French tanks can hold on for now. Because their tank divisions are not looking good at all. Holy cow. It looks like we have air superiority, which is nice. They have another tank division? Okay, never mind. We got them. Great. Half you guys, prepare yourselves. You're going to invade from... Ah, same place. Go right there. And then one, two, three. We probably have to break into North Africa eventually, but we might just be able to ignore that for now. Really, the main goal is the Soviet Union. Once the Soviets fall, it's all over for them. Over there too. 
Oh, more. I'm pretty sure I set this up so that auto would deploy right there. Nice. Oh, don't tell me we have even more carriers? Not bad. I love the carriers, but. Still. Uh, oh, hello. Who's, who's attacking? Oh, they are attacking. Look at all the guys. Okay, good luck, guys. Good luck. Could, I wish I could throw some other... Uh, do the turning C2, why not? Are you guys not doing anything? Like... Oh, you can't get... What do you mean? We own your... Oh, this part, Sayuta. That makes sense, then. Ah... <sighs> I guess we gotta go this one at two. Fuel refining. Next one. 5.9 thousand goes up to 7 thousand fuel a day, and it's still not enough. Oof. You know, if they can attack in the north, maybe we can attack here. Oh, they're not doing that well, though. Mm. Let's try it, anyways. That's a lot of red, but more green than I expected of red. Oh, look at that. 4%. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, you're attacking 21 divisions with a single division, so I guess that makes sense. Come on. Ooh, attacking over river is not a good idea. Obviously, we're not attacking that way, too. Oh, God dang it. Why did they cut me off there? The Belgians are doing pretty darn well down there, though. That's pretty good. Come on. We just got to crack them. How many... How much more manpower do they have? Well, holy crap! How do you not have... What have your manpower? Like, we saw, like, earlier off-screen, I saw they had 3 to 4 million manpower. Holy smokes, Russia! What did you do? I mean, maybe we killed that many off. I mean, they did take six and a half million losses, but I'm pretty sure they had more than that. So, and even though we're not winning everywhere, we have we currently have some manpower to do with that. Let's see. Actually, hold on. That's minus point one communism support every day. Minus point one five. We lose more stability. I don't want to. Do, I want to raise my conscription level because we're going to need to. Because we're not mobilizing anymore, which really is garbo. But if we keep attacking, maybe we can get more fuel from where, whatever states we can get through or two. Uh, of course, they change the colony. Of course, why not? Why wouldn't they? Hey, we're done with our naval doctrine. Finally, let's go back to our air stuff, which we're doing great. We don't even have great war tanks. Maybe we should start doing that. Romania's looking better. Oh, yes, we have Bucharest. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that. We just got Bucharest. We have fuel. We actually have some fuel. Oh, light tanks. Hello. Wow, I can't believe we actually have a tiny speckle of fuel. Military, please. Cool. We're done with that stuff. Ooh, grab some more soft attack. 5% for leg infantry. Not bad. Ooh, oh, we have some casts. We've got some cast working on some of them ships. Actually, do we have ciphers for them? No, it's not done yet. Oh, it's going to be a long, long time before we get that done. Oh, boy. Maybe we might not ever get it done. Um, We could try this. Oh, you guys are already... Oh, shipping off, huh? Nice. Subs are cool. Hey! There you go. They don't have a lot of... Eh, they got quite a good, okay -ish amount of infantry equipment. Define Moscow. Still get 10% more attack until 48, so that's pretty good. Is this still going down? No, it's not. God dang, I hate this so much. Why? This is this is honestly really stupid fatherland front crap. That shouldn't happen if we already destroy all the support down there, so... That is something that definitely has to get looked at, because that's just not fair. Hey, we actually went down here, though. Especially if you unify, unify the Balkans... And actually can basically be a sort of a regional power, if not superpower eventually. So. Seriously, Germany. Should have just puppeted you. Hey, we did a great job, though. Anywhere else? We have all the other islands. Uh, you know what? At this point, I'm sending you to the front. Good luck. Go when you can. Can't believe we haven't even researched tanks yet. Oof. 
It looks like we're doing pretty darn well. What are the casualties like? That's a lot of casualties. I'm loving it, though. Oh, Romania looks so terrible. But it's so good at the same time. Hey, upgrade. Is there anything? Yes, 10% more attack is always good to get. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, dude, I'm shooting out Switzerland, but whatever. Now you guys are just still kind of hanging out. It's fine. Can you guys maybe take these guys out too? Maybe? Do fool me? Uh, obviously here. Oh, okay. If you want to win, yeah. I don't know what's going on with the Turks or the Soviets, but hey, you know what? If they've lost... Actually, how is Turkey doing? Selfie? They have a million manpower. They're on... Oh, all of those serve. They have plenty of divisions. Plenty of fuel. But you know what? Calling in... Getting China in and extending the fronts. So good. So good. Civilian economy. Army department formation flying. Air support mission efficiency. Good. Oh, man. Look at all that red. Advanced. Yes. More. More. We went from seven... Oh, my gosh. We went from like 7,000 or 7.9 thousand to 60, 70 thousand fuel. Jesus, I love Romania. Oh, we can't even keep Russia because we, that is, I did invite the Russian Federation into our little sphere here. So they're coming back, which is kind of good, but oh my goodness, all that fuel from Romania. Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, that is a core of our, our own core territory, so. Yeah, look at that. It's all just core territory. So we get, we get all that fuel. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. You know, just do this. We run out of man Oh, we don't... No, we got these guys too, so we got even more manpower. Yes. Uh, United Balkan Confederation or Confederacies is very, very weird. But, you know, I'll, I'll gladly accept them in. I mean, that, that's a weird faction. Don't get me wrong, but that's okay. Expert Delegator. Eh, that's kind of okay. Yeah, we don't really need that. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Recovery rate and reinforce rate. Let's go with reinforce rate. Let's reinforce a little bit faster. And get our more our soldiers, more guns, more artillery, whatever they need on the field. We're doing pretty well in planes too. I mean, look at that. That's so many naval bombers. Mechanized, oh, mechanized, huh? We need more steel, of course. Hmm. I, mean, I did throw on anti-air as well, so that probably helped out quite a bit. Anti-air. I've I've been using anti-air quite a bit more. Oh my goodness! Look at this encirclement. Oh, this is precious. That's twenty-four divisions there. Twenty-four. Plus, I'm gonna include this one. 24 plus 18, 19. 24 plus 19. 24 plus 19. 42 division. Oh, okay, 42 divisions. Go bye bye. You know what? We're f oh, oh, you guys are. Oh, I see. Oh, I was gonna suck to fight through. Get some planning bonus then. That'd be okay. Nice. You know what? We'll use this one. I forget. We did Iran. I'm not sure why we did Iran, but whatever. I was just looking. Wow, you are going. Look how fast she's going. She's going hammer with that stuff. Some of these guys are going real slow. Uh, do you have any upgrades? What is this? Linguist. Is anyone else better at rooting out resistance? Intel extraction rate. Rescue operative cost. Counterintelligence. We're going to keep that person there, definitely. Infiltration. Ooh, no, not really. So, I'm going to put you anywhere else. 950. Oh, actually, here would not be bad then. That would actually be pretty good to do. There's so much resistance there right now. Man, whenever I'm... I mean, we're doing really well now. I'm so glad that someone actually told me that I could shift left-click to make one massive front line. Like, front line. It's technically a defensive front line. But, hey, ever since we, that person's told me, I've been using that quite a bit more. It's so good to use. So good. If we can get over there, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, yeah. I doubt you can guys can make it over there. Because that's that straight is horrendous to fight through. What we should really do is navally invade around them, but I don't think we can really do that. Okay. Did they leave? Okay, you know what? If they can do that, great. 
You know what? We'll even use this. There you go. Okay, 62, 63. Nice. Not sure what's up with the Turks, but hey, I'm not sure what was up with the, the uh, Soviets here too. But you know what? I'm not going to question it too much. Oh my goodness, even more. No accessible regions. Can we get military access, Denmark? Ooh, no. Ugh, come on, man. I don't have that much political power to spend or have. But maybe if they like us, maybe they'll let us. Anyone have upgrades from killing Soviets? I mean, they've lost over 11 million. The Turks have lost over almost a million as well. Oh boy, oh boy, we're starting to do some more encirclements. That's so good. So good. Oh, I left you guys here. Oh, look at this. So many divisions are here. These divisions suck. But they're not that bad. They have artillery. Like, they're like 7-2 or something. And engineers and anti-tank, even though I don't ever use tanks. I don't... Oh, I mean, I use tanks. But against me, using anti-tank doesn't really do much. So, oh, look at this. This is nice. This is nice. I might actually... Oh, I might have sent you guys down here. I don't want to, but you might have to break through the Suez down here. Yeah, that's probably for the better. You guys, I have military police on you guys. Why do I have military police? Eh, everything else is okay. You guys, switch out. Oh, I already have logistics. That's good. That's good. Hey, destroyer, nice. Well, we're bringing back the Russian Federation, I guess. Soviets, let's see. Wow, how many divisions have we killed off? Jesus Christ, 12 million dead. Almost 20, roughly 20 million com communists have been killed. Oh, eat up oh, and get even more soft attack. And get more land that attack would be good as well. Bulgaria has actually been a lot of fun. For the most part. Uh, I mean, this late game stuff is okay. But earlier on, it's, it's a little challenging, it's a little fun playing as Bulgaria, especially a democracy, a democratic Bulgaria that can get bigger by forming the United Balkan Confederation, or Federation, whatever you want to call it. It's actually pretty fun trying to unify with Greece and the Yugoslavians, or Romanians, not the Hungarians, but I found it would be actually maybe one of the more fun, or funner, more fun routes with the Battle for the Bosporus DLC, actually. Turkey's cool, they have a lot of options, but a lot of the stuff you can do with them is just really, really late game, which is okay. It's not great, so... But that's okay. Greece, I need to try Greece, I need to reform Byzantium sometime. Someday, but not today. Cool, doing pretty darn well. I mean, it just, it's so laggy, because of all the divisions made. But, you know, what else is new? Oh, wow. Wow. Hmm. Denmark, uh, do you like us yet? Please tell me you like us. Generated world tension. Well, I guess improving relations is going to be a waste of time with you, then. They will seek support from Zveno, Broad Socials, and Aguirre Union? Yeah, no, they probably definitely won't. Massive arrest. Hey, you got great war tanks. Might as well do that since we're not. Are we even making tanks? I don't think so. All they require is steel, which we don't have, but whatever. Yep. Keep you at the bottom because we don't really need you. Could throw some mechanized on our soldiers. Uh. Yeah, why not? We can throw them one. We got plenty. Wow, there's a lot of attrition around here. Oh, wow, Turkey is not looking good. Hey, look at all these convoys. Nice. Oh, we still got the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pride of the fleet. Turkish battlecruiser. Nice. Oh, yeah, sink those convoys. That's where you do most of the damage. You want to kill off a lot of your enemies? Just sink the convoys. That's all it takes. You get even more refiners. Actually, I don't think we need this stuff anymore. I don't think the enemies are really going to be able to break our lines at this point since we've killed off like a few hundred enemy divisions, so... Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, build this up too. Oh, more fuel, yes. Cool.
Good. Actually, do we have enough radar? Uh, we can build some radar over here. Oh, we actually got access to over here. Nice, because we actually have... I gotta stop saying the word nice. Uh, that we have military access to there, because, well, we own it. Or we control it. We, should, we don't really own it yet. But basically, we will. Don't let him move. No, 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 no. Not today. No, no, no. How's Africa looking? Yep, so pretty much the same. China's looking a little bit more expansive. That's good. Look at that. Awesome. You know, I should challenge you guys sometime. Like, whenever I make a video, like, like the very first video in a campaign, you should, like, tally the amount of times I say nice. You have to stop using the word. Nice is just so generic. Generic. Generico. It's not enough. They have less than 300 divisions. Oh my goodness. Hey, the Turks are about to capitulate too. Oh, that's going to be so good. Give me to Azerbaijan. I want their fuel. Oh, more fuel. Yes. How about rubber? Nah, let's get some cap. You know what? I always use cap. Let's go with this one. That's more cap too. This one's better because you get more growth, but retention is fine. Flexible line because we can't. Very bueno. How's this stuff looking? Three days for Air Force Department. That is bueno. How are we looking down here? How are the motorized? Looking not bad. I think we could just make you one big old front line because you do have to get down to Egypt and the Suez, which would be awesome. Oh, it's laggy. Happy 1947. Hey, there goes the Turks. I love it. Goodbye, Turks. Good luck. Beautiful. If that's the case, you guys are going to come here. Take away their fuel. Once their fuel's gone, they're completely screwed. You guys. Whoa, we took over all of Egypt? Holy smokes. Come down here. We gotta get Seyuta. You got a long way to go. But y'all can make it. Supply-wise, I mean... I keep saying supply or stuff like that. Not bad. Not batterino. Now these guys can actually link up. We have the Suez for now. Not that it'll, it'll remain that way. So you guys are all the way over there, which is fine. We can probably take... Well, go and do the Red Sea as well. That'd be pretty good. And the Chinese are all over the Raj. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, the Raj is looking pretty nice. China's looking kind of crazy, but that's okay. Keep going, guys. I know supply is really just trash here right now. But only 13 million dead Soviets, that's not enough. They're still pushing. Doing a pretty good job. Oh, we have some Iberian down there, huh? Well, I don't think they, they need very much of what where they're going. Hey, even more fuel refining. Get even more. There's never enough fuel in the world. They don't need to buy their garbage fuel. Hey, they, well, we overran them. Awesome. And America's guarding some ports. Okay, then. No more upgrades. No more upgrades. It's fine. I'm not too worried about this part. I think the Soviets will die here. Perfectly. France owns this for some reason. Hey, can we link up with the caucus soldiers? Hopefully. Keep moving. Come on. we got to get the trade node in Astrakhan. Nice. No, not that, not that N-word. Oh, not that N-word, but not nice. No, no, no. Thirty-two percent. Not bad. Not bad. We don't even have a nuke. Oof! I wish we had one. Build lots of that stuff. Ooh, what is Finland up to? Not much. What kind of commie? Oh, well, how's our commie support going? Go ahead and do massive redress for now. That's fine. There's six percent, and it's going down by quite a bit, which is bueno, bueno, bueno. Oh, look at all... Oh, it's so good that China came into the war. Look at that. They had to spare all their other divisions on the other side. Oh, China. Thank you, China. You're looking pretty thick. 
Um, now, we had this on A Historical, so Mabu Fang. Mabu Fang. Not sure why this still hasn't been reworked when China can overtake China whenever they feel like, but whatever. But whatever, who am I? I'm just a guy playing on YouTube. Or really at home. Good. Good. Go straight for Baku. Why are you not doing anything? Go for Baku. Cut off the other fuel. Because right now, we only get a million fuel. Oh, we have a million fuel. We only get 26,000, though. From 251 oil, we get 20, almost 17,000 fuel. Not bad. Refineries give us quite a bit. Look at that. It's a little bit less than from the actual fuel gain from oil. But that's still okay. You know what? Refineries, love it. Obviously, they're not as good as actual fuel, but whatever. Great. Great, great, great. Now, the Soviets, I'm sure they have a little bit of fuel deposits in Siberia. Yeah, they got some in the Ural Mountains right there. Ay, ay, ay. And Petrata. That's pretty much it, probably, for them in terms of fuel or oil, really. Yeah, that's it. Once we got Baku, 39. 39 oil. Not fuel, oil. We have Stalingrad, it looks like. Moscow is coming up. And you guys are all bogged down here. How close are they? They're a little bit more than halfway, about two-thirds. Yeah, 65%. Not bad. They still have too many divisions, though. Keep going. Keep going, guys. You guys are taking out the Middle East. Or, I guess, North Africa, not the Middle East. You guys are looking okay over there. I'm actually going to send you down to South, then. There you go. Help crush these guys. That'd be good. Nice. Even more divisions? Why not? We got him. We got him. I love having these all of the Balkans as one United Corps. That's so good. So tasty. And you guys, even more subs. So many subs. Holy cow. Where do I even send you now? Maybe the... Uh, don't go up there yet. Come and redeploy in Wilhelmshaven. That'd be good. How are you, what are you guys up to? There you go, you can do something like that. Just don't die. Please, just don't die. There you go. And you are a sub. Anything else? Oh, another sub? Yes, we do. Yes, we do have it. Land out attack, country killer, torpedo cooldown, and we're kind of okay. Anything else? Better Mountaineers? Sure, because we already use them, so might as well, right? Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Full steam ahead to Leningrad. Full steam ahead. Blueprint stealing, not bad. Do that one. More nuclear reactors. Ooh, nice little sub was sunk. I got subbies down here too. Any way they can get access to the sea, cut it off. I'm not sure that'll really do anything, but whatever. Any upgrades? Nope, at this point, I'm going to switch. This stuff out. So you don't need... We put military police on last time, which is pretty good for defense, actually. We get minus 5 breakthrough, minus 34 defense, even less soft attack. We get some more organization, so that should help out immediately with supply on the front. Hopefully. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully. You guys looking okay down here? Not great, but it is what it is. The trucks are moving pretty quickly, and the tanks, too. Don't want to forget about them. Actually, these divisions... Armor, 9.1. It's okay. Not great. I threw military police on them, too. I am a little crazy. Hey, there we go. That's where I thought we'd see something like that. We have one nuclear reactor. Do we actually... Nice! No! No, not that. Not that word. No, no, no. Oh, boy. so easy to make subs. It's so much harder to make actual better ships. 
Good. Come on, they gotta go up very soon. They are 87% of the way there, which is good. We only have 700 some factories. We've got some better light tanks. Get even better light tanks. Even more armor. Oh, Gorky. Oh, it took Moscow. Stalingrad, Leningrad. That should be it then, right? Because they don't have Vladivostok. They don't have Baku. Right? Balakovo. Oh, where is Komi? Where's Komi? Kirov. Ah, here it is. This is supposed to be Komi. I remember looking up the capital. Siktiv... Siktivkar. Siktivkar. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Kazan? Oh, man. I'm gonna go all the way over there. Seriously? They only have less than 200 divisions. That's still too many. I'm not sure if we're really gonna give the Chinese that much in this one, but... We'll see what happens. A little bit of auto saving. Happy 47 May 1st. Keep going. Keep going. Stalin. Boy be. Okay. Sure, why not? Just be out of manpower, Stalin. Why not? Please take Kazan. Please. 93% of the way there. We've killed over 14 million of them. God, using field hospitals was probably a pretty good idea for us. Machine assisted. Keep doing that some more. Wow, look at that fuel. So good. Do we have another re reactor yet? No, we do not. How is our puppets doing? Ooh, France. Eh, they're doing okay. How is this doing as well? It's going up by point zero two. Oh, I hate this thing. That's so dumb. Kazan, come on, go, 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 go. Almost there, almost there. China's almost done too. Japan's looking okay. Come on, just give us a peace deal. This is too stupid. Why is this taking so long? If the U, if the Soviet Union loses Moscow, Leningrad, Stalingrad, Baku, uh, they've already lost Gorky and Vladivostok. At this point, there's got to be some sort of peace deal, right? I mean, at this point, we're almost in Asia. Go, 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 go. Why are you so slow? Infrastructure is really bad. Supply is re probably really bad. That's a large river, too. And it's muddy. And it's supply and infrastructure, of course. Hey, we took it. That should be enough. That should be enough. We shouldn't need shouldn't need any more tiles. Uh, I kind of figured you'd be a capital next. God dang it. Yeah. W still waiting for that Soviet rework. Still waiting. Oh, how are you guys doing? Oh, you did a great job down here. Eh, there's some Iberians, some socialists down here. I guess we could take them out. H these people hiding in Africa? Nope. This is disgusting. Very disgusting. Okay, come on. Come on. 98% of the way... Kazan owes literally 1%. Are you kidding me? Huh? What, what else do we need? Like, seriously. What more do you need to know or have? You have less than 100 divisions. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Soviets definitely need a rework. But everyone knows that. Now I can save up political power so we can get rid of these guys. You know what? Just doing that. 2%, not bad. The father in front shouldn't have any, like, influence if we kill off the Soviets, right? I mean, that only makes sense. They're only propped up by the commies. Because I'm pretty sure we already destroyed them earlier. 99. Jesus, come on. How much longer? Do they have a national spirit which 
raises our like surrender limit. Oh, here we go. It might be it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, come on. What do you, why do you have to lag so hard for that? Alright, so here we go. I'm going to do this as fast as possible. So, Turkey, let's start with you. Oh my goodness, goodbye. Just get, just go through it quickly. Uh, Iberia, I don't really care. Thank you. Let's see, China. You know, Mongolia. Uh, you can take the nothing there. Okay. Well, whatever. For me, the Soviet Union, I'm just going to take it all so I can just give it to the Russian Federation. Holy cow, that's a lot. And then, obviously, Romania is going to be ours. Cool, quick, easy peace deals. It's a very dark world looking like this, but it's okay. Alright, let's see. And before we end, I do want to return some territory. Okay, hold on, let's look at this. Five on the front. Wait, did that? The Olympiad Games? I don't know. Okay, so this shouldn't be here anymore. This is definitely a massive oversight by Paradox. Well, that's not that important, though. But, like, this doesn't make any sense. Follow in front coup? We literally just killed off the Soviet Union. So, that's, that should definitely be looked at. But, then again, I doubt Paradox would be really watching this video. Or really any of my videos. Let's see. Council on Aggression Pact. Don't really care. Uh, Ethiopia. Let's return territory to France. That's only fair. German Republic. Return stuff to them. Hey, look. They're not looking too bad. Oh, they even got all that. Uh, you guys, might as well. There we go. Indian People's Republic. Denmark wants to join the alliance. Finally! Now you want to join? And anyone else? Morocco, nah, Kuwait, Lebanon. Oh, we have Mexico. Oh, we took Mexico. Oh, you know what? I don't think we really need to own Mexico. Palestine, Cyprus. No, that's, they're definitely under us. Release Nation? No, we're good. Turkey? Nope. Algeria, Austria, Azerbaijan. Wait, what does Austria have? Oh, South Tyrol. Okay, that makes sense. Bosnia, China. Return to the territory. There you go. Ooh. Just because we can. Let's see. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Armenia, Kosovo, Tajikistan, Ukraine. Yeah, you might not. We're gonna have the Ukrainians here. You don't mind having them around. Republic of Ukraine looking. Hey! That looks kind of ugly, but. Actually, hold on. That's... Is that not a core of ours? Are these not. Hold on. That should be probably a core of its Bessarabia, and this is part of the Balkans, right? Sorry, guys. I've got a court like that, so. Sure, come on in. Anything else? Where's the Russian Federation? Yugoslavian Confederation, Slovenia, Tenutuba, Uzbekistan, because the Russian Federation is all over there. I wanted to give the rest of the territory to the Russian Federation, but sh might not exist? Do they not have claims? They might not have claims. They do have claims. Okay, so the game won't show me where stuff is, or if we can return territory. Please let me return territory. I know this is organized alphabetically, but... Release nation? No, 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 no release the nation there. Russian Federation. It should be... Above the T's, right? Soviet Union, Somalia. Russian Federation, right? R-U. R-R. It's not in here. Wow. I can't even return this territory to them? Up here, Republic of Uzbekistan, Republic of Ukraine, return territory. Now we're good. Okay, so I can't return this stuff to the Republic of the Russian Federation. Oh my goodness. But regardless, this has been a fun campaign for the most part. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. The last focus that we could have done is... Oh, Supremacy in the Bosphorus, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed the campaign. If you did, hope you had a great rest of your day. And see you in another campaign.